Welcome back to another episode of the House Husband Diaries. As always, I am your host, Carter C. And today, we are talking about how I plan my hikes. Now, uh, to start off with, I am still a newbie. So I'm just sharing my experiences. So if, if you have more experience, if you have uh, different experiences, tips, your own ideas, how you do it, please share in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe just for my effort of sharing what I'm learning. Um, I don't claim to know how to hike everybody's hike. Everybody, there's this saying out in the, the hiking community, hike your own hike. Uh, it's a little cliche at this point. I've only been in the community for uh, a couple of months now and I, I hear it all the time, but I mean, it's true, uh, but it's still a little cliche-ish. So, uh, so yeah, so really uh, what I wanted to share is a little bit of a process that I go through um, and, and really it started because I'm, my goal is to section hike the entire Appalachian Trail, which is about 2,200 miles, including the eight and a half, nine mile uh, approach trail from Amicalola Falls. Uh, I was doing some math with my buddy back in February when he suggested that we do the approach trail. And I was actually doing the math to try to encourage him to take on the, the challenge of hiking the, the Appalachian Trail. He lives in North Georgia. And I thought, you know, hey, uh, you could do, you know, 30 miles a hike and uh, if you hiked eight months out of the year, then uh, 240 miles a year, you would need just over nine years, nine years and a month or so um, uh, of hiking to complete, to section hike the, the trail. And on my way home from that, just 10 miles up and 10 miles back, and uh, that was a 20 mile overnight, uh, I realized that, you know, just adding one more day you know, if I did a, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday hike, I could do 30 miles. And if I could do that eight months a year, then I would be able to hike the entire Appalachian Trail in, in nine years, um, which would be great because, you know, at the time I had about four months, three months before I turned 40, uh, 41. And so I, I only had nine years, a little over nine years until I turned 50. And the goal would be to uh, stand on, on top of Mount Katahdin with my hands raised in triumph of, of section hiking, you know, the entire Appalachian Trail in, in my 40s. So with that being said, uh, I planned my next hike, my, my second hike, to get those 30 miles. So... Uh, you know, I had four days, and in those four days, I include my travel. And it takes me from where I live in the central part of North Carolina, so about here, uh, to drive all the way over here to like Dahlonega and everything. It, it takes me about six hours. And so uh, that's a long investment. So I get up early in the morning, uh, about, you know, 5.36, and then I'm on the road by 7.00 and I'm trying to make it on trail by 1.30, 2.30, something like that, and get in uh, 10 miles or so in the afternoon to, to make that day uh, productive uh, as far as hiking goes. Even though it's a travel day, I still wanna try to get as many miles as possible. So I'm still learning, it's still fluid, but I try to get as many miles in one trip as I can. And I only have a few days. Some days it's three days, some days it's four, some, some months it's five. And, uh, and so, so really what I'll tell you, um, you know, to go back from the original plan, eight months a year, I, I wanna try to hike eight months every year. I do eight hikes, do 30 miles at a minimum per hike. And that way I'll be on pace to complete my section hike in nine years. Uh, what I will say, uh, as I'm still learning my limits, uh, as I'm still learning my comfort level, uh, my first hike, as I said, was 20 miles. My second hike was 30, but we did it in three days. We had a rain day. Um, and so I will tell you that I don't hike right now in the rain. Uh, that I haven't done that yet. I haven't hiked a full day in the rain, set up camp, in the rain 
uh, torn down camp in the rain. Uh, I, I haven't yet done that. I'm not sure that I want to. Um, everybody hikes their own hike, and, and right now uh, that doesn't interest me. If, if it rains the last day or the last you know day and a half or something, then I'll probably be okay with that, but I don't want to start. I just, and it's, it's just because of my own comfort level. Uh, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm struggling with a cold front and rain and hypothermia and I don't have all the right clothing and I don't have you know just my own inexperience and so I'm I'm uh, I'm being conservative on putting myself in certain situations to try to keep that comfort level uh, and then my third trip uh, was about four and a half days I mean it was five days it was a Wednesday through a Sunday but um, the last day we only hiked four miles out three or four miles out and uh and so you know it's a four and a half day and then you take the the half that i had to travel we didn't get on trail till 3 15 or so that wednesday and we hiked about uh 54 miles 53 miles something like that so um so that was actually a really good uh hike for for my third hike and then uh, i'm planning to go on my fourth hike here uh, at the end of may and uh, right now the plan is to get about 80 miles, a little over 80, 81, something like that, in maybe five days, about the same amount of time. So that's gonna be a big jump for me. Um, I'm gonna do it solo the first couple of days and see, I've hiked my first three hikes with uh, two different friends and, um, and, and both, both friends have sort of just hiked at a different pace and they enjoy hiking differently than I do, and I'm trying to get miles. I, I enjoy the overlooks and trees and stuff, but at the same time, I, I have a goal to section hike the entire Appalachian Trail, and so I need to get some miles in, and I don't wanna just hang around or do nine miles in a day, unless I'm hurt um, and I need to, to slow down, but I'd like to hike you know, a couple of extra hours into the evening just to make sure that I get my miles in and accomplish this goal. So uh, so I'll be hiking three days or so solo and then meet up with my wife, my dog, and then the last two days, um, we're gonna try to do some whitewater rafting uh, and then and then do like two day hikes. So it'll, it'll just be with like a day pack and some water and some snacks. So those days should be able to get 10, 12, 15 miles pretty easily in a few hours just because I won't have 35 pounds or so lugging around uh, tent and everything. Uh, let's see. All right. So that's kind of the overall plan. And like I said, it's still fluid. Um, I'll let you know. I'll keep continue to give you updates how that works. You know, can I get 16 miles a day, including travel time, uh, the average of this next upcoming hike? And then um, also, that I'll talk more about it. Um, if I if I can complete that, then we have the the Smokies. Uh, so the the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I want to do as a section, and that's like 71 miles, 72 miles, something like that. And uh, and so this is kind of a a test run to see if I can accomplish a 70, 80 mile hike in in a couple of days, which is a good bit more than that 54 or so that I did last time. So I'm still learning weather dependent, uh, you know, how many miles can I do comfortably day after day and how many days do I like to spend the night out on, uh, you know, in a tent on the ground, uh, how does that wear on my body, all of those things. Um, but really, so once I have the mileage down and as long as I can do 30, you know, I'm okay. Um, I'd like to get 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 miles. I mean, to be completely honest, right, that's what we're doing here. Uh, I would love to finish hiking the Appalachian Trail before I turn 50, like well before, like 45 or 46 or something. It'd take four or five years. I'd love to really crank out some miles and, and uh, you know, because who knows what, what life will throw at us. And so, uh, you know, maybe there will be kids in my future. Maybe, you know, parents will get sick or, I mean, you know, maybe I'll get sick. And, and so we just don't want that to happen. But um, in order to, to kind of you know, you just don't know nine years a long time to plan to do something consistently for that long. And then the other thing that I'll say about that uh, idea that I had with the eight months, that's a very Southern 
viewpoint. And I've realized over the last couple of months that uh, when I was looking, researching Mount Katahdin up in Baxter State Park in Maine, the, uh, the season, they don't really open until I think the middle of May or end of May. And then they want everybody done by October 15th. And so that gives you really, you know, uh, to June 15th, July, August, September, October, that's a five, a five month hiking season uh, up north or at least for the last little bit. And so uh, when, when you start talking about, man, am I really going to be able to, to hike eight months out of the year? You know, I was thinking March through October. And, uh, you know, March is still going to be pretty cold. And even in April, in the mountains, as we get further north, um, I mean, I hiked, you know, that first camping trip in February uh, was, was freezing up on, on Springer Mountain. And so, you know, that's going to be interesting to kind of uh, to weigh those. So the more miles I can get in, in the spring and summer and fall, uh, you know, while it's warm in the south, then the less mileage I'll, I'll need to complete uh, as I move further north. But this is great to have the map here. I mean, you know, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, you know, when I start getting up into Pennsylvania and New York, uh, that's going to take longer than six hours to, to drive to. And so that's going to be a day that is shot when I'm planning those hikes up in the northeast. So I'm going to have to spend a longer time. And, and, and that's three, four years down the road at this point. So I don't have to worry about it too much. I mean, the first, you know, the half of the trail is, is, is in Southern Pennsylvania, I believe somewhere in Pennsylvania. And so, um, it, it shouldn't take me more than about six hours to get anywhere in the the Southern half uh, of the trail. And so I won't have to worry about that until maybe two, three, four years uh, from now, as I move, move through all these hikes and I'll have plenty of experience, hopefully by then. So, um, so then the last two things that, that I'll, I'll say, as far as how I plan my hikes, those are kind of the general mileage, um, you know, overall plan to stay on, on track from, for accomplishing the goal. Uh, but then, and then there's the, the, what I do is, so I use, uh, I use this map and, um, my buddy got at REI. And so I got them at REI and I think there's about 22 of them and it shows you the elevation change and it has get in there you can see that uh, it shows elevation change it shows shelters it shows campsites it shows where water and springs and roads and so what I try to do is I try to find uh, a put in and a pull out spot between 30 and 50 and 60 80 miles and I try to do some research of where the next month's hike will be and so uh, I'm trying to get all the way to Fontana Dam and the Great Smoky, or the start of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, because I want to be able to do that section because you have to get a permit to do the Great Smokies. And so uh, I just want to do that in one shot. So then now that's why I'm trying to do a longer uh, hike, this upcoming hike. One, to see if I can do that many miles, and two, uh, to get me to the point where uh, I'll I'll just have the Smokies to do in one section because if I if I only end up, you know, 15 or 20 miles shy of Fontana Dam, now I've got to do 80, 90 miles next time. So um, so yeah, so I'll just try to find put in pull out spots, find some uh, some shuttles, and uh, if I'm not going with a friend and we're not parking cars and leaving cars, and um, and then I pull out the map and I look for shelters and uh, so once I have my overall mileage I have the number of days that I'm, I'm free my wife gives me a few days a month to 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 hike to go after this goal and so I have those days set with her and then uh, okay you know hopefully it won't rain and then and then I say okay well how many miles can I get to you know if I go if I if I stop here then, you know, 30 miles is here, 50 miles is here. You know, where is that next road? Maybe it's 60 miles, maybe it's 80 miles. And, uh, and then I'll just start to plan, can I, can I make the, uh, the longest goal possible? And so then I'll look and see if there's shelters every 10, 20 miles, 15 miles, whatever they are, and I'll pick, I'll, I'll just start writing down on a Word document 
okay, here's my plan, leave, leave today, you know, leave in the morning, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrive at this time, and then I'll be on the trail by this time, and then here's, you know, where I get my water, and, and, and so I have my, my hiking plan all uh, using, using this map. You know, here's where here, I'm going to start with X amount of water, and then I'll be able to hike, and I'll go up all here. And then if I'm not feeling good, you know, if I'm not feeling strong, um, here's my short shelter. You know, here's my short campsite for short mileage. I can just, you know, here's my emergency exit. And then if I'm feeling strong, then, you know, here's what I, I hope to accomplish. I'm feeling really strong, um, then, you know, maybe I can make it to the next campsite and on and on and on. And so, so that's really how I, how I plan my hikes is um, the, the broader overall planning is to try to accomplish, to try to hike the entire Appalachian Trail in the decade of my 40s and then subdivide that from there all the way down to I have two, three, four days, maybe five days to hike. How many miles can I get in those days, weather dependent? So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments, like I said before, uh, you know, how you plan your hikes, uh, how you plan, you know, your water stops, your shelter, your campsites. And uh, yeah, just keep sharing all this information. I really appreciate all the other YouTubers who have shared. I've learned so much so far. So I thought I would uh, enter the fray and and share from a complete newbie standpoint, uh, you know, my process, what I'm going through, and and how I'm figuring out uh, pack weight and gear and and all of this stuff. It's just it's it can be overwhelming, and um, I'll leave that to you, uh, or I'll leave that with you as my next video comes out. It'll be the three things I didn't know starting out that intimidated me, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned, watch that show, should be coming out uh, tomorrow. And until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching this episode of The House Husband Diaries.